Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. This week we're in London for the Thursday matinee of Phantom of the Opera, and then we go to Dear Evan Hansen in the evening. Why do I say that? Well, we've got the newest and the oldest musical in the West End in the same day. How could a show that's 33 years old compete with a brand new number one Broadway belter that everybody says is magnificent? Well, trust me, it can. I hated Dear Evan Hansen, and I loved Phantom of the Opera. You see, Phantom has a class and elegance and plays to its strengths of a fantastic score, a stunning show, a compelling story, and most importantly, a fabulous, sensational cast who drive the show with beautiful polish. What's interesting about the Thursday matinee I saw is these are often turkeys. These are the shows where performers sort of hold back a bit because they've got another show to do that day, and it's a Thursday matinee, so it's mostly full of foreigners. That certainly was not the case with Phantom of the Opera. The oldest musical in the West End, after Lem is closed, is starring Josh Pitterman as Phantom of the Opera, and I have to say, it is one of the most compelling, moving and immersive performances of this role that I've ever seen. I was trying to work out how many times I've seen Phantom. Well, I've been reviewing for about 20 years and I've seen it in Vegas about 10 times and I've seen it on Broadway about 15 times and I've seen it in the West End probably 20 times. So to be still enchanted by this beautiful story and fantastic cast is a testament to the piece. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did, but but it is still visually stimulating and as magical as the day when it first took to the stage 30 plus years ago. Add to Josh's performance as Phantom, which is Kelly Mason, and you really have got the mother load. This combo of Kelly's beautiful operatic voice and also innocence and tenderness matched with the creepiness, the absurd, the anger, and also the devastation of Josh's Phantom of the Opera makes magic theater. I was also really taken by Raal in this production. Danny Whitehead is one of the most charming Raals I've ever seen. He really is magnificent. Congratulations to him. What is the show then? Well, it's basically a silly story of theatre playing both sides of the curtain and playing with our nerves to create one of the most tense finales in theatre history. Also one of the most devastating too. What I noticed about this show this afternoon more than any before is how magnificent the orchestra is. And it's interesting. I've only ever seen it in the stalls. For the first time today, I saw it from above. And it does change the impact of the sound of the show. Obviously, the show is mic'd, but from the pitch, you get a different sound of the orchestra when you're listening from above than you do, obviously, straight ahead. And this was really magnificent because you can hear the scale of this incredible orchestra. Congratulations to them. Every note rang true every time that D minor Phantom of the Opera hit the stage. It was electrifying. Why is this show still going after 30 years? Well, it's entertaining, enthralling, captivating, and it wows audiences. People love the mystique of the story. Why is it a successful story? Well, it's a love story. It's a love triangle, in fact. In fact, you could say it's a love and hate story, even better, the triple threat. Infatuation matched with obsession equals great theatre. It has beautiful tunes. Still a captivating set, revolutionary for its time, and still impressive today. But most importantly, a compelling class that makes you see pure elegance on stage, prose delivering 100%, and a sound that is just magnificent, unlike the newest show I saw this evening, which they tell me is one of the best shows in musical theatre history. I beg to differ. I can guarantee Dear Evan Hansen will not be around in 33 years' time. Why is the Phantom himself so compelling? Well, he's creepy and emotional and moving. He's a powerful story, really. The greatness of the Phantom is in the intimidation, and we love that, matched with the innocence of Christine Daae, the two equals only matched by the obsession. Also, there's lovely sarcasm and wit in the show. This isn't a serious opera. It often parodies the genre and makes fun of both opera and musical theatre, which is delicious. Unrequited love never runs smoothly, and it certainly doesn't in this show. Just ask the chandelier. Just goes to prove that the stalls aren't always the best seats. Nods also to Britt Lenting and to Richard Woodford. 
who are the perfect, Carlotta and Monsieur André. Again, an effortless class. Andrew doesn't muck about with his shows and the casting, particularly in these type of roles, is always faultless. It has to be. Bravo to them. Perfect. Josh is a fabulous phantom of the opera. There's a youth and tenderness to him, which is endearing, a physicality, which is fantastic. But that voice, that booming voice, really is terrific. And the finale where he just breaks down on stage is the most dramatic I've ever seen. Congratulations.